let us offer this mass for the following intentions diocese of guntur siripuram parish this mass is offered for divya vani tv corpus fund donors marineni jayanti babu sri devi sushmita suchitra for good health and thanking god for all the graces received offered by family members today's rosary divine mercy chaplet word of god holy hour are also offered for this family and their intentions archdiocese of kolkata this mass is offered for late maroji radha krishna on her second death anniversary may her soul rest in peace offered by sunita and suresh rafael archdiocese of kolkata this mass is offered for the departed soul of lucas and harriet francie anthony offered by sunita mary rafael archdiocese of kolkata this mass is offered for the departed soul of jeromias and sarochni rafael offered by suresh manuel rafael this mass is offered for all the departed souls of family members of belinda wills and family this mass is offered for the departed souls of mr anthony phillips and lily phillips on her birthday remember remembrance offered by phillips family members new delhi this mass is offered to thank god for protecting ravi melkizetek and family members from corona offered by ravi melkizetek and family this mass is offered for good health and thanking god for all the graces received offered by b mario joseph family and also let us specially pray for all the divya vani tv channel donors in this holy eucharist let us begin our celebration in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit dear friends in christ jesus Today we celebrate the solemnity of the assumption of the blessed virgin Mary body and soul into heaven and also we celebrate the independence of our nation and it is indeed a very very special day for every one of us because Mary stands as a sign of hope for every one of us and also we are experiencing the freedom and independence of our nation and on this day we need to thank god the almighty for giving mary as our mother and also as a sign of hope and as well as for giving independence to our nation so friends in christ in this holy eucharist as we thank god the almighty for all these graces we have received let us also introspect into our personal lives and see how much we are able to believe and trust in the providence of god and how much we are able to utilize the freedom given for every one of us most of the time we are unable to make use of them and most of the time we are unable to really be in the presence of god recalling all those moments let us feel sorry and ask god's pardon and mercy and make ourselves worthy participants in this banquet of love i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault to my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary our virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins 
and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Living Father, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of our glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judith. Chapter 13, verses 18 to 20, and 14th chapter, verses 19, 9. Reading from the book of Judith, 
chapter 13, verses 18 to 20, and 14th chapter, 9th verse. In those days, Uzziah said to Judith, O daughter, you are blessed by the Most High God, above all women on earth. And blessed be the Lord God, who created the heavens on the earth, who has guided you to strike the head of the leader of our enemies. Your hope will never depart from the hearts of men, as they remember the power of God. May God grant this to be a perpetual honor to you, and may He visit you with blessings, because you did not spare your own life, when our nation was brought low, but have avenged our reign, walking in the straight path before our God. And all the people said, So be it, so be it. The people raised a great shout and made a joyful noise in their city. The word of the Lord. Thanks to God. Your response shall be, My heart exalts in the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord. My Savior. My Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. Your response My heart exalts in the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord. My Savior. My Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bind on strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for the bread, but those who are hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. Your response My heart exalts in the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord. My Savior. My Savior. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to shell and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and he exalts. Your response. My heart exalts in the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord. My Savior. My Savior. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap. To make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. Your response, My heart exalts in the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord. My Savior. My Savior. A reading from the book of, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 5, verses 13 to 17. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, Chapter 5, verses 13 to 17. You were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself, but if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. At that time, Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his offspring forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today we are celebrating the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we believe that Mary, our mother, was assumed into heaven both body and soul. And this has become a dogma in the history of the Church. Pope Pius XII on November 1st, 1950, he has issued this dogma, asking the entire church to believe in the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary and to celebrate this solemnity of the assumption of our Mary, our Mother. And today, dear friends in Christ, we need to really understand and strengthen our belief in the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. How can we really say that Mary really assumed into heaven both body and soul? Do we have any evidence for that? And do we have any real proof that we can really prove that Mary has gone into heaven both body and soul? These questions may come into our mind or someone may really question and ask us how can you really say that Mary has gone into heaven, both body and soul. And dear friends in Christ, church has come forward in helping us to understand in the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary by giving four important points to be pondered and to be taken as a proof as the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The first one we have is uninterrupted tradition. Uninterrupted tradition from the first century onwards, everybody really believed that Mary has been assumed into heaven both body and soul. From the first century onwards, this belief was continuing. The tradition of accepting and believing and proclaiming and spreading the message of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary was continuing from the first century onwards. There was no interruption at all in this tradition. And the second thing what we have is faith and belief of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary in all the liturgies of the olden days or the first Christian communities. They have a litany. In that litany, when they are praising and worshipping God the Almighty, they have this assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the litany. 
and in whatever the worship whatever they have at the time they have about the assumption of the blessed virgin Mary in their liturgical practices and this is the second proof and evidence that we can really strengthen our belief that Mary was really assumed into heaven both body and soul. And the third evidence dear friends in Christ the negative evidence that is there was no trace or proof or honoring of the tomb of the blessed virgin Mary. We have the tombs of Saint Peter and here in our own country in our neighboring state we have the tomb of the apostle Thomas and we really venerate and we try to receive some grace and blessings from these tombs and these tombs have become the pilgrimages and so many other people come and visit and see and try to have their faith strengthened and so many things happen and from first century onwards these things were existing the tombs but Mary's tomb was not, be, not to be found why because she was taken up body and soul into heaven so this is a third evidence and proof which really strengthens our faith and belief in the assumption of the blessed virgin Mary her tomb is absent there is no existence of her tomb and finally the fourth one dear friends in Christ the possibility of assumption was warranted in the old testament in Genesis we see Enoch and the possibility of the assumption of Moses and surely the assumption of Elijah these people were taken up into heaven both body and soul and there is always the possibility of Mary's assumption too because this has been warranted in the Old Testament clearly it, it explained that Elijah is being taken into heaven both body and soul by God the Almighty and surely Mary was also taken into heaven both body and soul these are the four points which really strengthen our belief and faith in this assumption of the blessed virgin Mary and basing on these four points Pope Pius XII on November 1st 1950 he has issued the dogma asking every believer to follow the solemnity of the assumption of the blessed virgin Mary on 15th August. So dear friends in Christ today we are very much sure that Mary was taken into heaven both body and soul and for this we need to also have some theological arguments too and two things we can really focus the first one is the original sin if we are the sinners if we commit any sin when we die our body gets corrupted but Mary is not having the original sin Mary was completely free from sin and which means that her body was not corrupted because original sin is not there in Mary and when there is no existence of sin in her then there is no possibility of the corruption of her body and this is the first theological argument what we can really strengthen our faith in the assumption and secondly dear friends in Christ Mary had brought our Savior Jesus Christ into this world and Mary bore the salvation Christ in her womb and she brought her God's son into this world to give salvation to every one of us and which means dear friends in Christ Mary has to be with God the Almighty with Christ our Savior so surely theologically when we speak since Mary brought Jesus Christ into this world 
since Mary gave birth to Christ, bore him in her womb and surely she has to be in the presence of God with God the Almighty in heavenly abode. So, friends in Christ, these two theological arguments also give us strength in believing in the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And today, dear friends in Christ, we need to take Mary as a sign of hope for every one of us. Why? Mary was obedient to God and in her obedience she brought the Savior into this world and in her obedience she kept her body pure and she did not commit any sin. Since Mary said yes to the will of God the Almighty and since she kept her body holy she received the grace of God sufficiently and she was filled with the Holy Spirit and that's why since she was filled with the Holy Spirit Phil received the grace of God sufficiently and she always kept herself pure in the presence of God she was able to get and attain the possibility or to go into heaven body and soul in a similar way, dear friends in Christ, in our faith journey, if we are able to say yes to the word of God and follow, we will be receiving the Holy Spirit, we will be filled with the grace of God and we also we need to keep our body pure and holy. As St. Paul very beautifully says, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The parts of our body are the members of God the Almighty. So friends in Christ, we need to keep our body holy. We need to keep ourselves pure and we need to always fill ourselves with the grace and the Holy Spirit of God by being obedient to his word. And then dear friends in Christ, we have the hope of rising along with God the Almighty and to be in his presence. So friends in Christ today, Mary our mother is giving hope for our faith. So let us ask Mary our mother to intercede for every one of us so that we may be able to receive the grace and blessings of God the Almighty to keep our bodies holy and to receive the spirit and to fill ourselves with the grace of God. May Mary our mother intercede for every one of us in every moment of our lives. Amen. Let us all profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us all put forward our prayers and petitions to God the Almighty. God our loving Father, we ask you to bless our Holy Father, our bishops, priests and religious. May they always experience your grace and blessings and may they always lead your flock to believe in this assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary and to lead a holy life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we ask you to bless the entire humanity. Loving Father, today the humanity is suffering with coronavirus, lot of fear and anxiety. Every person is experiencing an agony. 
loving Father, we ask you to show your grace and mercy upon the entire humanity and drive away this virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we ask you to bless all the people who are offering this Holy Mass. Receive their intentions and fill them with your grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we ask you to bless all the Tipiavani TV channel donors. May they always experience your grace and be filled with the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us all pause for a while and pray for our special intentions. Almighty ever-living Father, receive our prayers and petitions and fill us with your grace and help us to keep our bodies holy and pure and always be obedient to your word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and our good of all his holy church. With your spirit, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your Church's coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life, 
And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name with a heart full of praise. Be exalted, Lord our God, Hosanna in the highest. Bless me, bless me, blessed is the one who comes. Bless me, bless me, blessed is the one who comes. Lord, we lift up your name with a heart full of praise. Be exalted, Lord, our God, O Santa in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis or Pope Anthony or Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you holy. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Almighty and ever-living Father, having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Prayer to St. Joseph Hail Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, To you God entrusted His only Son, In you Mary placed her trust, With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, Show yourself a father, And guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
and glory all of our people holy virgin mary body honor you are the glory all of our people holy virgin mary you are the glory of jerusalem holy virgin mary you are the greatest joy of israel holy virgin mary you are the highest honor of our race holy virgin mary body honor you are the glory oh, of our people holy virgin mary body honor you are the glory oh, of our people holy virgin